What's up YouTube, Santos CR7 here with the uh, Spellcaster deck like I told you guys. Uh, this is going to be my project deck. Um, I'm going to see how competitive I can make Spellcasters. And uh, I want to do this with your guys' help. Um, so any suggestions you guys have, um, maybe if you guys have a Spellcaster deck that you guys want me to check out and try, um, let me know. Um, I'm also asking for you guys' help if um, you guys um, make the suggestions and have the cards uh, for it, like if they're comments or whatever, if you guys wouldn't mind just sending them in. Um, I'll give you guys shout outs every time I do an update on this deck, um, and I'd really appreciate it. Um, but anyways, we'll, we'll get to the deck. Blizzard Princess, she is the main reason I wanted to make this deck to begin with. So uh, please keep that in mind if you guys make, a, make suggestions. Um, I want to. I want. I'm gonna go get a second one of her. So I'm gonna run two. Um, her effect's pretty good. Um, you can tr you contribute some in her by um, contributing one face up uh, spellcaster. And um, during the card she's normal summon your opponent can activate spell or trap card. So kind of um, you summon this like towards the end when you're trying to make a big push. Uh, she's really good. She's got really good stats. 2800 attack. So um, she's pretty good for a spellcaster. <clears throat> um, I play one in Demian. Um, again, another good spell caster is 2700 attack, and uh, I can pop a card by discarding a spell card. Um, and then I play two Dark Magicians, because I run um, the skilled Dark Magicians, because they're 1900 beaters. So uh, Dark Magicians uh, can, can be a free special summon. Um, fairly decent attack, I guess, 2500. Um, plus he's just Dark Magician, he's kind of like, um, the emblem of Spellcaster, so I thought, why not throw him in. Uh, one Jinzo, I know he's not a Spellcaster, but, um, this deck doesn't really have any back row hate, so I decided to tech in a Jinzo, um, to deal with that. Um, one Dark Magician girl, uh, again, the, another emblem of, like, the Spellcasters with, uh, Dark Magician. I am missing the Sage of Stone, um, so if I had Sage of Stone, I'd probably run two of her. Um, but I don't know, she's just Dark Magician. Uh, those are like the tribute monsters for the normal monsters. We got uh, three Magical Exemplar, she's pretty good. 1700, decent stats. Um, whenever a spell card's activated, she gets two spell counters. And once per turn, I can remove any amount of spell counters. Uh, the special summon a spell caster with the same amount of spell counters I removed uh, from my graveyard or hand. Um, so I think the one thing I, I want with this deck is to actually up the spell spell count uh, so that example could become um, more handy. Um, but yeah, so I run three of her. I run two skill Dark Magician. He's just kind of like the level four beat stick. It's 1900 attack. And if he does get three spell counters, I mean, I could tribute him for a Dark Magician. To summon a Dark Magician from basically anywhere. Except for remove from play, so he's pretty good. Uh, two Magicians Valkyria. Um, I play her kind of for the, um, for like a lock. Like first turn I'll set one, they'll attack at 1800 defense, so there's a chance that it'll survive. And then next turn play a second one, I have you unlock, you can't declare an attack against Spellcaster, so... Um, that's why she's in there. Uh, three Apprentice Magicians. They're um, kind of like the stall of the wall. Um, every time it's destroyed by battle, I can special summon a level 2 or lower, which is basically itself into face down defense. Um, yeah, and then plus if they're just normal or special summon, like regularly or flip summoned, I can put a spell counter on a card. So with uh, Exemplar, that's, pr that's uh, pretty good, or with Skill Dark Magician. And uh, the tuners, when like the rest die, and I just want to go for a tuner, I got um, Arcane and Frequency Magician. Um, I personally would prefer to be playing Knight and Sorcerer, but I don't have those. Um, but these are the level 2 tuners, so this deck will just like go into 6s, uh, pretty much. Um, one Defender, the Magical Knight, uh, he's pretty good, 2000 Defense, uh, even though most likely you're going to want to normal summon him into attack. Uh, he gets a spell counter, and once per turn, if a spell caster would be destroyed, you can remove the spell counter uh, instead of the card being destroyed, so um, he's pretty good. 
And I can remove the spell counter from anywhere on the... Oh, no, it's from him. Okay, yeah. So that's pretty good. Uh, Royal Magical Library for draw power. Again, with all the spell counters going around and I want to increase the spell count, uh, I, c I could kind of be abusing Royal Magical Library. Especially with 2000 Defense, I'll just set it. They'll attack into it. And then from there, all spell cards will start, I guess, giving me pluses. Uh, Maiden of Macabre. Um, I haven't seen, I don't really see her playing in many spellcaster decks, but she's actually pretty decent. Uh, she, she has 1700 attack to begin with, and whenever she destroys a monster by battle, she gets a spell counter, and each spell counter gives her 200 attack more. So, um, like if we're playing, if you're playing a deck with like, to, like plays a lot of tokens and stuff, and you're just killing the tokens, she can get into a pretty big beat stick, so. Uh, lastly, one breaker, um, just mainly to deal with black, 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 haha, back row hate. Uh, so that's why breakers are. Um, that's all the monsters. Um, la la la. Onto the spells. Uh, pretty staple for spellcasters. Uh, three magical dimensions. Um, the thing, the thing that I didn't notice about this was that you don't have to tribute a spellcaster monster. You just tribute any monster in your field. So maybe if you like, like to type like econs. Uh, so like if I econ your monster and I play magical dimensions, I can tribute your monster to special summon a spell cache from my hand and then I get to destroy another card on the on your side of the field. So uh, these actually go together really well. Uh, once swords were really bad in case I have a uh, shitty hands, I kind of need to stall out for a bit. Um, the, your my opponent will probably like MST this or something, but it at least provide that like one turn stall plus the spell counters. Uh, Reborn and True Nade are staple. Uh, surprisingly, I'm missing a Dark Hole, so I play Lightning Vortex. I guess it's kind of the same thing in a way, but crappy. Because I gotta discard a card. Uh, creature Swap. Uh, it's good with the Apprentice. Um, I give them my Apprentice, I, and I get their monster, then I just attack into my Apprentice and get another one or a tuner or whatever, so Creature Swap's pretty good. And then I tech in a scapegoat for defense. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason this is in there. Uh, that's it for the spell lineup for the traps. Uh, two magician circles are kind of staple for spellcasters. When a spellcaster declares an attack, I can activate it. And then me and my opponent can special summon a spellcaster monster 2000 or less attack from the deck and face up attack. Uh, since I don't really see many spellcasters being played except for effect veiler. Um, this is mainly just a plus for me because I doubt my opponent is going to want to play that Baylor in face of attack mode, so. Um, staples, Mirror, Solemn, Torrential, and uh, I guess Seven Tools even. Um, pretty staple. Traps. And then Call the Haunted, just because it's Call the Haunted. Um, so that's the whole main deck. Um, it should be like 40 or 41 cards, something like that. Uh, I do realize that, that the one problem this deck will probably have is draw power, because the only draw power it really has is the Royal Magical Libraries. And, um, I mean, an easy fix would probably be Allure with all the darks, but I don't have that. Uh, probably Pot of Avarice to, like with the Apprentice Magicians, that's if all three of them die, that's already three in the grave. Um, but other than that, I can't really think of anything. So if you guys would please help me out with your ideas. Um... Again, if you guys like can suggest cards and possibly send them to me, I'll give you guys shout outs whenever I do updates on this deck. Um, other than that, uh, thanks for watching guys and peace.